watch these foundation shades which they assume <laughs> my foundation color is probably going for this one this one looks closest to my skin tone especially for my neck let me try my neck oh this is the fair one this is the this one let me try to blend it okay so i got my primer on yeah so i'm going to apply the foundation on my face and we'll see how how it goes you know whether it's good for my skin my dry skin that's what we're testing and the consistency is pretty liquidy right so let's dig in shall we light and it's not very high coverage but it does look like it's brightened up the uneven parts so let's see if we can double it up so it like covers some of my acne okay so this is how the finish looks like in real life, it doesn't look so pale, but in the video, it looks like I am looking as pale as a ghost. Like if you compare it to my neck, I mean. Yeah. Coverage is not super high though, because you can still see the breakouts. And I don't know if my concealer <laughs> can match the color of this foundation yeah it just looks it looks very pale but hopefully after some blush it should be a bit better okay so my foundation is down and I put some concealer but my concealer is way too dark for this foundation which is like more of a sandy color so that's why I top up over more foundation on top of the concealed parts so it looks more even coverage for the color, you know? And so now I'm going to set my face and make everything stay put on my face. But so far, this is how the finishing looks like. Yeah, so you can see it's like, it can brighten up the, the parts where it's like uneven skin tone, but it doesn't cover like blemishes, you know? So it's more like a medium coverage kind of thing. So I'm gonna take the loose powder here and try to set my face. And I'm also going to use the super fancy brush that comes with it. Yes. I'm not sure how to use this because I usually take a little bit. I don't take a lot, you know, but it came out quite a lot, so I'm going to slowly tap it. Slowly tap it onto the cap. Just to evenly distribute it out the brush yeah, so if you guys see a lot of texture on my skin that's not because of the foundation actually the foundation is super light but my skin is hasn't been the best condition lately so that's why it looks like very uh, crepey so I don't think it's the foundation's fault but it does have like a very slight sheen like as if you it is your natural skin dust it all over my face okay so I think I mattify my whole face already so this is how the finishing looks like it looks very it's very light powder so I kind of like it it doesn't take me too much of the the powder to set my face but maybe because the foundation is like super light anyway so there's not much like tackiness to it yeah so this is how after it powders Okay, now we're going to go ahead to the part that is most anticipated Maybe the second anticipated after the lipstick The eyeshadow palette, yes So this again is the colors and I'm going to swatch them one by one for you to see Okay, 
Let's start with this color. It's not very pigmented for the shimmer. So this is the shimmer. It's okay, it's not so pigmented. So we go for this this chocolate brown here. It's like a chocolate milk. Okay, so this is slightly more pigmented. Pretty nice. And then uh, let's go with this this shimmer here. This one's like the is it copper? Shimmers are like so light. They're not so shiny. Yeah, so this is another shimmer. Yeah, not so shiny, but alright. Let's go with this mustard color. I hope it is good. Because this is the color that it, that made me decide to buy this instead of the rest of the colors. Oh, that's okay. It's kind of pigmented. But I guess if you need it to pop more, you need to put a whiter, like a white base on it so it looks more obviously yellow. Then there's this brown here. Ooh, this one's deep. Okay, this one's not too bad. It's pretty deep color. Uh, this dual chrome, I have no high hopes on it, but that we'll see. Yeah, all the shimmer seems to be like so disappointing. Yeah, doesn't look like dual comb even. Maybe just slightly a bit, but you can't tell. You can't really see if you unless you like stare at the person in the eye. <laughs> then got this brown here. It's like an orangey brown. This one is slightly more pigmented. All the mattes seem to be nice, but it's just the shimmers seem very like cluster in my opinion. And this is the one with the like a matte but with some glitter on top which doesn't make any difference yeah so there it is that is like a deeper mustard and then next one is the brown yeah which is the same thing it's not a shimmer it's more like a matte brown with glitter topping yeah so that's the color it's matte matte brown Disappointed. I thought I was going to get mostly shimmers, but it's majority matte. Hi, so this is the finished look. Sorry about the skipping ahead because I'm running out of memory and I need to show you guys the final look. So overall, I think this makeup looks good. Um, the eyeshadow, the shimmers, it's not so blinding, but the dual chrome one is pretty like very nice if you have the light. If you have the light hitting correctly, you, you can see the dual chromeness of that green and gold. Yeah, so don't know if I can show you guys here now. Yeah, so in the lipstick, the lipstick looks nice. So here's the close-up of the lipstick. You can't really see the, the golden glitter there. But I think the color is absolutely beautiful and the texture is not too bad. I can still go on without the lip liner, without it worrying about it, um, you know, smudging or coming out really easily. But so far, so good. And I will update you next time, later on, on after a few hours of wear and I will update you. Yeah, update you! <laughs> Hello, so I am back after a few hours of wear and after my Facebook live so it's night time and the makeup still looks good like the lipstick I had jumped up earlier and the lipstick is still staying on I haven't put on like reapplied just now I just reapplied after I had my dinner but after that I didn't reapply and it still looks good like the lipstick texture is not too creamy so you don't need to have a lip liner to like keep it all in so the bleeding is really less so I'm really happy with the results so the bleeding is like you know it's not obvious as it would for as it would for like very creamy red lipsticks so yeah I really recommend this red lippy it's so beautiful but you can't really see the gold flecks so if you want a red lip but also want your lipstick to look super fancy you can go ahead and buy it because it's super affordable and overall I just feel this whole brand is super affordable and you know if you have a friend who likes um, 
Gustav Klimt so you can give your friend that gift and I'm sure he, she, he or she would love to receive it if they are makeup lovers as well and yeah so this is the eyeshadow I put my extra gold glitter on so that's that's not the shininess that is from the palette <laughs> the palette's shimmers are pretty bad I would say because it's not super shiny as I would hope that's why I top on more glitter but the mattes are really good so you can see like the mattes are still staying on and super pigmented yeah so the foundation is okay or it's, it's not bad as well the foundation is not bad yeah so that is all I have to report for today after the wear time test do I recommend Carsland? yeah you can give it a try it's not expensive it's pretty reasonably priced because each item is not more than 100 ringgit or at least because I had a promotion but anyway I will just link the shop in the description below and then you can check it out and see if they're still on promotion so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe this video and please let me know in the comments if you feel like you want to watch the makeup process or you just like the skip version better <laughs> where it's just like showing off the product and then after that you know to the finished product Right, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!